Hi, welcome to Rainbow Face Creations. Today I'm just going to do an easy, simple design. Basically I'm doing a snake design. Um, good for younger boys or girls. Um, I think I did this video on my very first one. And I did it, well, by an app. But obviously I've changed a few things, well, things since then. So it's a lot different now. And I'm probably going to just do a little bit different today. But... Um, Let's just get on with it and you'll find out. <laughs> so I'm going to use a uh, split cake, which is different greens. It's called Forest. Um, and I'm using my one half inch brush, flat brush. So I'm just going to pick all the greens up. There is a yellow on this split paint, but I'm not using that today. So I'll make sure I've got lots of coverage on the brush. This is really popular. Kids love the snake. And yeah, I do do it a lot. Especially the boys, they love the, <laughs> they like it a lot. So I'm just gonna, don't matter what light or dark on whichever side, and then just gonna come up and use the tail of the brush and then thicken out, drag it around, taking it down here. Might have to go over that a little bit. So pick some more colour up. It's just because I've got um activated the paint just now so it's a bit more drier like so trying to keep the same colours um, Course. it's body that's basically what I do simple as that this is like a quick quick design and want what once one kids had it they all want the same <laughs> they all want the snake yeah you can just go over if you're not too happy then what I tend to do is I'll use the light on the outside and I'll try and make um, a heart shape for the eyes bringing it down and then come up and around it's basically like lips <laughs> but it's good this one the kids can move their mouth tend to be the snake very animated design. You don't have to do the lips. Once you're happy with that, I'm just going to darken this bit so he's got that cut off. So, yeah, once you that's so, alright, I think I'm happy with that. I'll just maybe blend that darkness out a little bit on that tip. And there we go. Then, now what I tend to do is I'll put the eyes on or I'll line it going by like the See where it's wet, you don't want to sort of go over, overline white parts, or wet parts, I should say. Um, but yeah, I think we'll get on with the lining, see how we get on. But yeah, my first video, oh, it was terrible. <laughs> Proper pixely, my first video on this one I did. Yeah, I did it off the app, but I view, I've put it on my designs, because kids love it. So, I think I'll do some snake texture. I'm just going to pull so it's like it's tummy. If you've got a stencil, you can use a stencil. I sometimes do use a stencil. And it's its little tummy scales around there. Basically, 
you're just doing a heart, love heart shape for its face. I like to do two sort of upside down these because it's quite a little nose is pointy. If you make a mistake, you can put a bit of baby wipe down there, it's just an idea. Oh, you can also use earbuds, they're good. And that wipes on off anything. You can also, if you're putting like, um, doing the girl's lips, if you've done a nice butterfly design and they want the lips coloured, I always use a clean one of these, I always chuck them away and put the paint on the lips with that so it's no contamination. Yeah, I'm that bit wide. That's fine. I don't obviously do this that often but on myself. It looks good on kids. So let's carry on with the eyes. No, a bit of lining work. Like I say, you can use stencils. If you've got anything that looks sort of like scales in your kit, there's a snake. <laughs> a bit of white for the eyes. Sometimes I do red eyes. Snake look evil. Just basically doing triangle shirt because it's snaky like. And again on the other side. So, just near the nose area. It's okay if it even picks a bit of green up because it still looks quite fairly good. And she's happy. And I shall put a pupil in between. All you're doing is a line down and then a bit of lining work around that there's the snake eyes Ooh. <laughs> little nose holes and yeah something then obviously sometimes I'll add new stencils if you've got any sort of scale shapes I did have one actually where did that go I got, yeah I just ordered this new one I got these off Amazon they're only about a pound each they're quite good like you can use these for scales or for fish. They're basically I think these are actual proper body art ones but you can also buy them for coffee you know and you put them on top of your coffee and sprinkle the chocolate powder well you can buy them for that too. You can put that in and get them a bit cheaper that way. So what I do with this is I get me dab a sponge. These are quite good for a lot of things. Pick the colour I'd want. I'll probably go in with a mustardy colour. I'm not going to go too mad with these scales, just here and there. Um, maybe there, just use the edge. 
you might not show up. Yeah, a little couple of little scales. Just gives it a little extra. It looks quite effective. You can't really see much. Could add a bit of some silver glitter so it looks like it's shiny. I'll leave it at that. There you got the scale effect. I think that looks quite effective. Might do a little couple on his. Yeah, that works. And what I always finish off with, I'll give the snake a little slivery tongue coming out of its mouth. Pick up some bread. I'm using my liner brush, simple to do, you just pull out, jog down and then just make a V at the end. And there you go, simple as that and that's how I do my snakes. <laughs> Sometimes I do red eyes, I'll leave it, pick up. There you go, and that's my quick, easy to do snake. Hope you enjoyed my quick snake design. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see. Well, I shall see you next time. Bye for now. Bye, bye. Thanks for watching.